Hey, are you that girl that David is dating now? What? Who are you? How did you get my contact information? I'm David's fiance. Do you understand? His fiance. Oh, you're his childhood friend. What? I'm his childhood friend, but I'm his fiance now. His mother likes me too, so there's no room for you. Well, I've heard about you. David said you would probably going to contact me, and he also told me to believe him no matter what you say. David is always testing me like that. He really likes me, but he's trying to make me jealous and see what I'm going to do. Okay. So you're nothing for him. Hmm. What's with that response? Are you kidding around or something? No, I'm not kidding. I'm just so paranoid. I don't know how to answer that. Huh? Oh, you mean my words are too attractive? You're very positive. Anyway, I understand what you're trying to say. So you're going to break up with him, right? I was afraid you'd be a total moron, but I'm glad to see you understand the situation. No, it means I understand what you're saying. I didn't say I approve it. David is standing next to me right now. Says I should just leave you alone. What? Wait a minute! I have his mother on my side. I'll definitely make you regret. Hey, do you really think you can be my son's wife? I know you don't like me. The wedding is the day after tomorrow, and the registry itself has already been done because of our anniversary. What? You've already registered? I told you when I went to greet, didn't I? I don't like your attitude. What? I don't know if you're a college graduate or if it's because you work at a big company, but I don't like the way you treat people like idiots. I didn't do that. It's how they feel. Well, if you're in the family, I don't have a choice. What do you mean? I'll make sure you know how to act and behave as a wife. What? You'll have to live together with us. Huh? If you don't live with me, I won't be at the wedding. Oh no. People from David's company will be there, right? Business partners too. It won't make a good impression if I'm not there. That's not good for David, you know. And yet you intend to do that? It's up to you. I understand. That's a good answer. My husband is about to move out due to his work, so there's a room for you to live in. I look forward to it. Where are you guys? I won't tell you. I'm never going back there again. What? I have nothing more to say to you. What are you thinking, running away like that? Hey, answer me. Mom, leave us alone already. David, what are you doing? Your father won't be back for a while. I know, but we can't live together anymore. Why would you say that? You've always been there for me, and what now? Yes, I've always taken care of my family. Right? And why are you doing this to me now? It's because of that woman, isn't it? That's why I told you she's no good. No, it's your fault. Sabrina didn't do anything wrong. She didn't do anything wrong. I taught her how to cook my recipe, but never able to. She doesn't even want to cook it in the first place. Mom, if you don't like Sabrina so much, why did you ask her to move in with you? She told you about that. She didn't say anything the whole time. She said you would be lonely because Dad is gone. That's why she wanted to stay with you until Dad comes back. She's a hypocrite, but she ran away like that after all, and now she's making me the bad guy. That's because you complained when you found out we are having a baby girl. I just said that a girl wouldn't be suitable heir, 
and that she wouldn't be pretty because Sabrina isn't pretty. I was hoping for a baby boy. She ran away because of that. She's my baby too, you know. I didn't know that that's what you were thinking about Sabrina. How dare you talk to your mother like that? She even showed me the conversation you had with her right before the wedding. I'm not going to let you see the baby. And I don't plan on seeing you and dad for a while. Oh no! Don't contact me until I contact you. Hey, aren't you being a little childish? I already knew you were insane three years ago. What is with you all of a sudden? Do you have an urgent matter or something? Well, I guess you could say it's urgent. Yes, what is it? Don't play dumb with me. Your four-year-old girl is with me right now. I've been taking care of your daughter since yesterday. Don't you know how hard it is for an elderly like me to take care of a child? And you didn't even contact me for a long time. Are you kidding me? Sending a child to me out of the blue? Um, wait a minute. My daughter is five years old. Huh? You kicked me out of the house when I was pregnant, saying she didn't want a baby grandchild. That was five years ago. My daughter is an only child, and she stays home all the time. She's watching YouTube right now. You let her watch YouTube? You are a really bad mother. It's none of your business. Anyway, that child is not my child. Then whose child is it? I don't know. Who in the world gave her to you? It's from Allison. She asked me to take care of David's child. She said you asked her to take care of her. Allison is a childhood friend of my husband David. She used to have a strong sense of rivalry with me, looking me down and everything. I don't know what's going on with her. Oh, please don't talk about Allison that way. I'd rather have her to be my daughter-in-law than you, who came from nowhere. She would have been more suitable for David. But David chose me, so it is what it is. You keep talking back like that. You really are a cocky wife. Allison would have been more honest. I haven't heard from her for a long time. I wonder what's going on. Anyway, I can't take care of her any longer. I forgot your new address, so I just dropped her off at ABC Park. What? You left a little kid all alone? It's raining hard outside. It's okay. I left her under the tree to keep her dry. I'm driving home now. Oh my god! You can't leave her alone. I'm going to pick her up. I can't believe you left a four-year-old girl in the park in the rain. I don't care. I don't feel comfortable with her. She was annoying. I guess she's not worth my granddaughter. It's been a while. I'm Sabrina, David's wife. What? Did David have a wife? Yes, he did. Did you forget about me after you harassed me so much? Oh, come on. You've got to be kidding. A woman without her husband's love is so miserable. My husband and I get along well with each other. How can you say that? You just like to think so. What do you want? What do I want? I want to talk about your child. Oh my god, you know about her? Are you disappointed? I just want to know what's going on. Wendy did something reckless and she was really in danger. She texted me and told me to go get her because she was my child. She's at home now, playing with my daughter, Rachel. Who the hell is this child? Wendy said you left her with Wendy, saying it was my child? I didn't say it was your child. I told her it was David's child. What? David's child? That's right. That child is me and David's child. That's a lie. That means it's an illegitimate child. I guess that's what it means. I didn't want to complicate things, so I told her she's you and David's child. I really wanted to give birth to a boy. Then Wendy would have liked me, and I could have won David over you. 
That's a lie. I can't believe David betrayed me. Look at her face. She looks just like David. I guess? Isn't she cute with her pointy ears just like David's? I guess he wasn't satisfied with you after all. It seems he's more compatible with me, his childhood friend. Oh no. Anyway, please come and get this girl. You're her mother. There's no way I'm going to take care of her. Well, that's the thing. I was going to raise her on my own, but to be honest, it's a lot harder than I imagined. Besides, I have a new person I like, and she got in the way. So, you and David should raise them together. You're so irresponsible. I wanted to be David's wife, but you won't give me David, right? I wanted to let her play with her daddy a lot. Wait a minute, Allison. I talked to Allison and she said something I couldn't believe. Oh, you got in touch with her? That's great. I was wondering if it might be possible. So, what did she say? She said it was David and Allison's child, his illegitimate child. Oh, I thought that might be it, and I guess I was right. You weren't good enough for David after all. You and Allison are saying the same thing. This means David is having an affair. Do you understand? I understand, but it's your fault to be cheated on. You're ugly, you're not very smart, and I'm sure David regrets marrying you. What? To be honest, I'm glad David and Allison had a child. I thought from the beginning that she should be his wife, not you. Then you should raise her. I can't do it. Oh, I told you I'm not physically capable of raising another child. You have to listen to me. That's why you get cheated on by David. If you still want to be David's wife, you should at least raise his child. Why should I raise my husband's illegitimate child? Wives in the past used to love and raise their husband's unfaithful children too. I would do it if I were you. You've got to be kidding me. Anyway, I'll text David. You're really an inconsiderate wife interfering with your husband's work. David, I need to talk to you. Are you done with work? Sabrina, what's wrong? I just finished. Your mother told me to come pick up the child Allison left with her, and when I got there, there was a girl looks just like you. What? What are you talking about? Allison said it's your daughter. What? Sabrina, I would never betray you. There is no way I have an illegitimate child. Believe me. I want to believe you too, but... I'm telling you the truth. No matter how much Allison tried to attack me, I didn't take her seriously. You saw that. Besides, I haven't seen her for three years. If you don't believe me, I can have a DNA test. Okay, I believe you for the time being. I know you're not a very good liar. Thank you for believing me, but I'm still going to do the DNA test. I'm still not comfortable with the fact that the kid looks like me. I have a bad feeling about it. Her ears are pointy, just like yours. Her ears? They say it's genetic, right? Oh, we heard that in the drama we saw together before. How's that girl doing now? She's sleeping with Rachel. Rachel was so happy to take care of her. I see. She wanted a sister. Wendy, you will take care of her, right? Huh? I already told you I can't, didn't I? It was just a few weeks ago and you forgot about it? Yes, I remember. You said that even if the child was born from an affair, if it's David's child, so I should raise her. Yes, that's right. You remember. Then why are you asking me to take care of her? We did a blood test. You went to all that trouble? Have you lost your mind? Well, just listen to the results. It was confirmed that they're related. I knew she was David's illegitimate child. Like I told you before, you're going to raise her. No, I'm not. It wasn't a parent-child relationship that was recognized. Huh? David and that child were half-siblings. Wait a minute. What do you mean? I confirmed it with Allison and your husband John. 
they admitted that they are related. Oh no, that can't be true. Yes, Allison and John had a child together. David showed no interest in Allison, so she seduced John, and he took her up on the offer. Allison said, he's the closest male genetic match to David. This child has the same genes as David's, so it's David and my child. She said crazy things like that. She couldn't raise her on her own, so she left her in the care of John, who is her real father. I heard that she didn't want you to find out about the affair, so she lied about it. In other words, she is my husband's half-sister. To my daughter, she's her aunt, even though she's younger than her. What in the world are you talking about? That must be a shock, right? Allison, your favorite girl, had betrayed you. I don't know what was so good about a woman who irresponsibly abandoned her child and ran away. I've loved her for a long time, and I cannot believe she betrayed me like this. It's because you don't see the true nature of the other person properly. Because you only see them the way you want to see them. But still, John wasn't satisfied with you after all, was he? I guess you have a problem too. Why are you saying such horrible things to me who was betrayed? Oh, come on. That's what you said to me. Don't think of me as same as you. I've been devoted to my husband for so many years. Why should I be treated so badly? Oh, yes. About that child. Because Allison refused to take her in, John took her home with him. I'm sure he'll be there soon, so please think about the child's feelings and be a good mother. Are you saying they're coming now? Are you kidding me? I can't believe that the child is coming. How am I supposed to raise her? Why don't you just love her and raise her? There's no way I can do that. But, you said in the old days, wives raised their unfaithful children with love. So why don't you show us an example by raising her with love? Of course, that's impossible. Don't be silly. Well, I don't see any future where I have to raise her. I'm too old to raise a child. You should be the one to raise her. If you could take care of her for two weeks, I'm sure you can raise her, couldn't you? My husband says, I don't want to give up on my sister, but I don't think I can be the father of my father's illegitimate child. That's right, you'll just have to handle it yourself. Wait a minute, I'm a victim here. Don't you feel sorry for me? I do, if it weren't for the bullying you did to me. Oh no, I didn't mean to bully you. I've been kicked and forced to do houseworks when I was pregnant. I haven't forgotten how you threw away my favorite clothes and how you cursed me a lot. That's why my husband and I have been broken off the relationship with you. So, good luck from now on. Wait! Hey, help me! I believe David, but it was also true that I doubted him a little because the shape of his ears looked just like his. David heard about the shape of her ears and thought it might be possible. He said that he and his father had always laughed at the fact that they had the same pointy ears. It was a point at which he felt a strong connection with John, who was often away on business. And even at that time when we moved in together and were kicked out, John was still working alone. The area where Allison was working was close by, and they happened to meet and have dinner together, and before they knew it, they started dating. It's scary to think about their ages, but John and David have a very similar look, and the fact that John was a young man. It seemed to turn Allison on in a weird way. Wendy took care of the girl, partly because of her pride in what she had said to me, and partly because for the sake of appearances. Eventually, she couldn't keep up emotionally and chose to divorce him. She has never worked and can't do much work, and now she is on medication for depression. Allison was engaged to a man, but he found out she had an illegitimate child with John. Allison was planning to have a big wedding ceremony, so he charged her a considerable amount of money for the cancellation fee. Allison is working day and night to pay back the fees. John did not do much parenting even when David was a child. He couldn't take care of his four-year-old child, so he came crying to our house. 
David had mixed feelings about it, but he couldn't leave the child as it was or send her to an institution. So we decided to take care of her for the time being. At first, David was a little tense, but then she started smiling at him with a cute, innocent smile, just like Rachel. She is now as affectionate and loving as Rachel, my beloved daughter. I decided not to have her too close to John so she wouldn't be confused. Even when they come to know the truth in the future, I still want to treat her as if her life is not so bad and that she was loved and raised by us. David and I have talked about this. We will continue to trust and respect each other and protect our family. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up, hit subscribe, and leave us a comment down below. It means a lot to us. See you next time.